Wake Up 805, Bill Wilsey right here in Studio 805 for the Ventura County Star and Cam Rio on purpose kicking it on my couch with my humble views about what to know about where to go this week. But first, the real lowdown about the unreal world of sports. I've been a Dodger fan since I was a little kid and naturally I hate the Giants. I hope they lose every game forever. I still hate Barry Bonds. I'll always hate Halloween because of the unfortunate color scheme. You can and should heckle the Giant fans, but you can't kill Giant fans or knock them into a coma. What's the matter with these idiots? Man, and crap, so the Dodgers are not going to go undefeated again this year? God, I hate when that happens. And I still hate the stinking Giants. Just four more titles in the West Coast and they'll match the Dodgers. Then I'll, I'd even wear a Giants hat for a second if somehow get rid of Frank McCourt, the definitive carpetbagger and the Dodgers' biggest problem. Anyway, so much for the mindless exposition. I'm here to talk to you wonderful folks about live music and to that end about a faster car, a richer girlfriend, even one with a job. Here's what I'll be lurking in the back this week. Okay, tonight in LA, it's another of those way cool sub pop bands. This one is Paper Cuts. They'll beat the satellite in Silver Lake. These Paper Cuts are great. The real ones, hate them. While over at the El Rey, probably named after my dog Dodo, it's the Dodos. While over at the legendary Troubadour, it might be worth the drive just to get a shirt, it's the Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum. Wow. And over at my old school, UCLA, it's Woody's kid, Arlo, with, the, with those Burns sisters opening. We'll appear in the 805 where we like it. Smiling Brian and his injured kneecap and his preachers will play some rock and blues at Blackbeard's Barbecue in Ventura. And still tonight, Friday night, one of my interview victims in this week's timeout section, Pony Death Ride, will play some goofball rock at Billy O's in Ventura. With a name like that, I get strangers on a train flashbacks. You ever seen that one? Classic Hitchcock. And Frank Browse will play some classic and original pop rock at the Wine Rack in Ventura on California Street. Well, down the block, there's Hot Chick Rock and Reggae with Divine Crime with the Bombay Bar and Grill in Ventura, while a few blocks north of Zoe's is singer songwriter stuff with Ken Pattengale and Joey Ryan. And at Yoey's is guitar god Pete Anderson. Well, up Highway 33 to Ojai in the Thatcher School, it's local songbird Perla Bataya. And those veteran Terry Waves will play some Peter Power Pop at Soho up in Santa Barbara. On Saturday, down at Blackbeard's Barbecue in Ventura, is Fish Fry with a bunch of Dodger fans named Fischl. And it's him again, pop rock dude extraordinaire Frank Bross. He'll be at Tootie's in Ventura, right near the top hat, and some of the worst news imaginable. Sorry for that young fellow who was killed, and sorry for Jack Bell who used to run the top hat. A lose-lose situation for all. Wow. And at Jay's Tapas, still on Saturday, the preachers will do it again, right near Father Sarah's ancestral abode, the San Buena Ventura Mission. It's Jim Bianco with a delightful North Star session opening Saturday night at Zoe's. Michael John on the bottom line will play some blues at Yoli's, also on Saturday. And Teresa Russell will demonstrate the shredding guitar solo numerous times at the Hub in Ohio. And Janet Jackson will pack the Santa Barbara County Bowl. On Tuesday, a great pop punk lineup that features Yellow Card, All Time Low, and Hey Monday at Phonehead Nirvana Club Nokia in LA. On Wednesday, it's a rock and electric blues with George Thurgood and the Destroyers at the Cavernous Canyon Club in Agora with Dodger Faithful, Tom Ball, and Kenny Sultan opening, playing songs like Who Drank My Beer When I Was in the Rear. And finally, on a Thursday, it's Artie Pop Rock from Dada at the Canyon Club. And speaking of baby talk, don't you hate those baby commercials? The babies are lip syncing about some financial junk. Worst commercials on TV. <sighs> I cannot hit the mute or the channel changer fast enough. In Oxnard, still on Thursday, Teresa Russell will do a regular gig at Lookout. And Big Jugs and the Mutineers will be at San Susi and Ventura. And veteran singer-songwriter Kenny White will be at Zoe's. That's it for the week. Okay, that's that. And now this rock and roll call, the record rating service of cyberspace. My humble advice to buy it, fly it, or walk it right on by it. First up, new one from Phosphorescent. The album is solid advice for the slackers. Here's to taking it easy. It's on dead oceans, a concept incomprehensible to Republicans. Phosphorescent is, in fact, one Matthew Houck. Same name as the Cougar three-point shooter, Dylan Houck. Now, Matt Houck is from Alabama and even brags about it on the first one. It's hard to be humble when you're from Alabama. All I have to say about that one is, what? Anyway, this is Houck. This is Houck's sixth album. Much of this one is twangy country rock, solidly done, but a bit too rednecky for me. With that said, I don't care if there's cursing and tell me, baby, you've had enough or both catchy keepers, but the Heaven Sitting Down song was way too twangy, so there you have it. If you're wearing pointy shoes, phosphorescent is definitely worth buying. Next up, a new one from Bootsy Collins. The album is the funk capital of the world, and it's on Mascot Records. This Rock and Roll Hall of Famer gives plenty of props to his old boss, James Brown, as he should. And at the same time, this funky bass dude creates that beat, which will leave no room for debate when it tells your feet what to do. Overindulgent, over-the-top rap monologue is a bit much sometimes, but the beat beats all, so if you want to check out some way cool driving music, then Collins is your man. And finally, it's the latest from those wild and wacky theatrical rockers out of Las Vegas, Panic at the Disco. The album is Vice and Virtue, out just out since 22nd of March. 
proof positive that these guys will always have it going on because they have a top-notch front man with a great voice. That would be Brendan Urie. It's pop punk corporate rock smartly done with stellar vocals catchy rhythms about of Mona Lisa is the first single saw these guys in SB a few years back well we're checking out much like this album a bunch of pros on top of their game for now and the foreseeable future so buy this one as well okay that's it for this time thanks for hanging out with these few precious moments darn glad to be here go check out some live music that's fun if no one tells you act how are you gonna be I earned this shirt I used to work here I don't care if you like me I don't care if you don't I don't care if you fight me I don't care if you won't I don't care if there's lightning I don't care if there's smoke I don't care if it's frightening I don't care if it's just I don't care if it's tomorrow, I don't care if it's at all, I don't care if it's the I don't care if it's the law.